Happy Sunday, guys. Welcome back to episode three of the Chaparral Boat Build. If this is your first time watching my videos, this is episode three. If you missed part two, we did some pressure washing and some other cool stuff. And we also learned how to take these stains out of marine seats. And we took all the decals off the boat. I hope you guys get some out of today's video. If you like what you're seeing, if you learned some, hit that subscribe button. I know a lot of YouTubers ask you to do that, but if you don't learn anything, feel free not to click it. So quick backstory on this 1999 Chaparral 1930 SS. I bought it from a neighbor for $2,000 and if you missed episode one, we ripped the carpet out, we cleaned the seats up and pretty much gave you guys a rundown of the whole boat. But we're gonna see what we can do to this boat to make it stand out, make it look good. It shouldn't take too much, but I hope you guys learned something. Stick around to the very end. Let me know what you guys think. Before I get started, last time I sanded gel coat, uh, it, it, it's weird. It's not like normal paint. It comes off in like a really thick powder. And last time I was using like a face mask, but it was just like one of those normal surgical masks, kind of sealed well around your face. And after that, I, I kind of felt weird and I was blowing stuff out of my nose the next day. So I went ahead, went to the store and picked one of these bad boys up right here. Uh, they got these at Ace Hardware. I didn't find any at Lowe's or any other hardware store in the area, but I was surprised they have a 3M uh, respirator, so I'm gonna take it out of the box and show you guys. All right, guys, so everything looks pretty straightforward. Uh, kinda looks like a gas mask that we use in the military almost. Looks like you just uh, take this filter and you put it on and give it a little quarter turn and it snaps on. Let's see. Oh gosh. Looks like it goes just like that. Oh yeah. Got a good seal. Test the filters out. Plug and breathe in. All good. So for saying it, I'm gonna be using 180 grit orbital polisher pads. The only thing I am worried about is these batteries. I like to keep them in the fridge overnight because it helps them out a little bit. They last a little bit longer, but I just want to get this done. So let's get after. guys so I just finished this whole side of the boat and I didn't tape off any body lines yet because there is a problem there is one little problem not a big deal but the gel coat manufacturer had issues and they couldn't send it out but I did just get the email notification today that the gel coat did get mailed out so we're just gonna be waiting on that a few more days and the reason I didn't tape off the body lines is if you guys let your tapes in the Sun on the gel coat it kind of damages it whenever you take it off and you gotta get goo gone, it's a whole mess. So we're just gonna wait on that a little bit, but I did tape off the little chrome pieces and everything. Not too worried about those guys. Yeah, one whole, like I said, one whole side's done. I just gotta do the next side. It started raining a little bit, so I had to take a break. I did end up stripping the decals off the top portion of the boat. So I'm gonna do the new color up top as well as on the bottom. And it's gonna look, I'm so excited to see this color on the boat. Like, I love this boat. I, I even like it better than the first boat we built. And if you guys haven't seen that, I'll put a link right here for you guys, a little banner that pops up. That's a whole build video. We engine swapped it, whole boat rest. So the only thing so. I have left to do is I gotta finish the other side. So I'm gonna get at it, stick around. I hope you guys liked the video. Hit that like button. Let's do it.
All right, guys, day five. I got all the sanding done, had to stop early again yesterday because a storm came in again and springtime in Florida. So we're about to start focusing on all the taping. And our, we already got this taped off a little bit and I'm probably gonna get my wife out here to help me because it'd go a lot faster, be a lot easier. And she needs to do something anyway, so I'll get her out here. <laughs> this side I haven't wiped out of the acetone yet. It looks pretty good and this is the side we're focusing on right now for taping. So this shouldn't take long at all, but once it's done, we're probably gonna get the primer all mixed up and go ahead and spray it, so let's do it. All right, so all the sanding is done. Got it acetone, it's all wiped down. And my neighbor Mike over there, he came over. He's got his own YouTube channel. It's called Sir Mike A. I just found that out. As you guys can see, we got our little spray booth going on right here. And we just took paper from Ace Hardware and taped it along the body line. So we're gonna hit it with a coat of primer. And I'll show you guys how it lays on and it should go pretty well. Everything's sanded, everything's wiped down and I'm about to start with my first coat of primer, and for the primer, I found this stuff online. This is what everybody recommends before you use gel coat. This is epoxy primer, top side primer. You can find this on Amazon. It was like 30 bucks for a gallon, I think. So we're gonna mix this up and hit the boat real quick. That wraps up today's episode. I hope you guys 